Good day everyone, Mr. Facey here with another AutoCAD video. So as I said before, my main reasons for doing these videos is to assist my students um, currently doing their SPA joints. So before I redo this join, so for the first part of the SPA they are required to do three joints. So we did this join in the first video. Um, there's another video about this one. So if they are not able to use that video to produce this join, then I will be doing another video on this one. But uh, we're going to move on because I already did this one and there's an, uh, another YouTube video for this one. So now I want to focus on this join here. All right, so I went ahead and I took the join from here and I expand the join a bit. So I'm not going to work from here anymore. I'm going to work from here. All right, so in order to complete this join, we have to understand a few things. All right, so we first need to know what method they use to get this arc here. So the method that they use to achieve these arcs. So the inner arc and the outer arcs are parabolic curve. So it therefore means that they are joined parabolas to get these curves. All right, so in order to draw a parabola, we need to know two things. So we need to know the minor axis, which is here, and the major axis, which is here. So how tall of a parabola it is and how wide of a parabola it is. All right, so with that said, we're going to jump straight into our, our AutoCAD software. So as you can see here, I went ahead and I had completely joined, but I'm going to take you through the join from the beginning. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is open a new join area. And then, um, after I've launched a new join era, then I'm going to set up my join era. So the first thing I'll need to do is to, first thing I'm going to do is set the unit. So type UN, and then you press enter, right? So we're going to set the precision, the join unit precision, the length to, zero and the um the angle should be at zero as well we're joining millimeters and it is international so we press ok next we are going to set the limit so lim short for limit we set the limits so the lower left hand corner will always be zero zero the upper right hand corner depend um depends on the size paper you're joining or you want to output your join on so in this case, I want to open my join on a tabloid size paper. So I'm going to go 420, 297. All right, then I press enter. All right, then I'm going to zoom all. So I'm going to zoom my zoom my join area, zoom all of my join area. So I'm going to type Z, which is for zoom, then press enter. A, which is for all, and then press enter all right so before we finally start join then we need to set some more things we need to turn on something so we're the first thing we're going to draw in order to draw the major axis and the minor axis which is in form of a rectangle we need to turn on auto mode that allow this mode allows us to draw straight lines at a 180 degrees and at 90 degrees then we're going to turn on object snap tracking and object snaps so we're going to turn on a few object snaps all right so we need endpoint midpoint center we need to turn on node we can leave quadrant quadrant on you know yes and perpendicular and tangent so the main ones are endpoint midpoint center and node those are the main ones we need to have on here all right then we need to set our scale that we're drawing at so we are joined at a scale of 1 to 50 so we select 1 to 50 and now we are ready to draw 
all right so we already know that the major axis before we said was 80 because the 80 is from here to the top of this parabola here and then to get the outer parabola because I'm going to draw the outer parabola first then I will go 5 extra so I'm going to go 85 and 100 because this is half so you multiply by 2 to get 100 all right so first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the line command I'm going to select my specific area that I want to start or my specific point I select there and I move in the direction I want to go and we know that across the length is 100 100 and we press enter and we want to go up by a height of 85 we press enter then we go across 100 as well we press enter All right we go here and you can just select endpoint and it close it All right so we press space bar to get rid of the line command All right so that is the outer part or the outer shell of the, the parabola so it would have been here to here going across at, in a, at a 180 degrees and going up and coming across so a rectangle right so now we need to um, set our, our plot our points to get the parabola right so the first thing we're going to do is that we need to divide this rectangle into equal parts right so we're going to divide the width into 12 and divide the height into six equal halves all right so in order to divide we're going to type d i v and we see divide at the top we we select divide right we're going to select the area or the line that we want to divide so it says select the object to to be divide so we select here this line here and we are how many segment you want to divide the area in so 12 right so we press enter right so once we divide here we don't need to divide here all we need to turn on here is we need to ensure that the perpendicular is on all right so we're going to divide this side so we're going to repeat the process so we type div short for divide and you press enter you then select the object you want to divide and you enter the amount of segments so we said that we want to divide this area into six so we type six and we press enter all right so we're not going to divide we're actually going to do the dividing all right so as we said we're going to divide this area into 12 and this area into six all right so now we're going to type we can get the line command by typing l and pressing enter so l short for line and we press enter right so we now want to divide the width or the length right so we go to the line we select on the, the we wait until we see the node comes up and we select there and we go at a, a one at a 90 degree angles and we click we select the perpendicular so I'm going to repeat the process. So space bar to get by the line command, you go to the node and you go at a 90 degree angle, you select the perpendicular, you space bar get rid of the command, space bar get by the command, node to perpendicular, space bar get by the command, get rid of the command, space bar get by the command, node to perpendicular. So it's a repetition. Alright, so space bar get by the command and perpendicular space bar get rid of the command space bar get by the line command go to the node and we connect the node to the perpendicular at a 90 degrees all right so select there that is so this is the center line that's why you see that it is connected at the midpoint right so we get rid of the line command get by the line command by using space bar so we go to the node and perpendicular space bar get rid of the command space bar get by the command node and perpendicular 
space bar I guess we'd have to come on space bar get about the command node and perpendicular space bar get we'd have to come on space bar get about the command node and perpendicular space bar get we'd have to come on space bar get about the command node and perpendicular all right so we now see that the outer box the outer box are the rectangle and the inside is the same color so we can change this by adding a different layer and call these lines construction lines so we want to be able to differentiate the difference between the construction lines and the bright lines or outline so we are going to select layer property or layer properties we're going to add a new layer by Click, uh, clicking this image here so we want this new layer to be called center right we want the color we're going to choose a bright color so we're going to choose purple right and we're going to go back here we also know okay so we're going to leave the line weight um, the same as the one that we were using before. So now you turn on this here, the center, right? And you come back to your join. So we want to identify the center lines, six lines. So from the edge, one, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore, this line is the center line. So delete. Let's clear. So this line is the center line. So delete, and you can also delete this line, right? Because there was a white line before. So here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So this line is the center line, right? So we are going to draw this line. So L enter and node to the midpoint so once you see midpoint it means that that is the center of the line so midpoint is the center of a line all right in space bar i guess you have to come on now we need a separate layer to identify the construction line as we were saying all right so this layer was to identify the center we need a separate layer to identify the construction line so we're in order to do that we're going to add a layer by Selecting this object here with the bright yellow, right? So you select there, you get the layer. So we're going to type construction and we want to change the color to we can go purple and oh, purple and blue, no problem, and okay right so now we are going to highlight all of these lines so first we need to turn on we need to select this layer the construction layer and we are going to highlight all of these lines and we are going to change them to blue so before you go ahead and draw these lines you could have already set up your layers all right so we know of our construction lines all right so now we're going to divide on this side here so to divide on this side we're going to draw these lines and at an angle at an angle so we need to turn off um auto mode so we turn off auto mode we select polar tracking and we type L or line and press enter to get back the line command and we come here at the midpoint where the center is and we go on this side so we're going to look for the node so this is one node space bar get back the get rid of the command space bar get back the command so from midpoint to uh, we're looking for node space bar get rid of the command space bar get back the command endpoint there to the node Space bar get back, get rid of the command, space bar get back the command, and point to node, space bar get rid of the command, space bar get back the command, and point to node. So 
So we're looking for the node, right? So node. So we already have five lines, so it means that therefore it is divided in six. So one, two, three, four, five. So six equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, and six divided at an angle. Alright? So we can do two things to get um this division over here. So to do that, I'm going to show you a modifier called mirror. So this we do this, we mirror to move with speed. Alright. So when you want to move fast, you mirror. So you select mirror. You select objects. So it's more than one object you want to mirror. So all of these lines here. And then you are going to press enter. You're going to come from the midpoint because you want to mirror it from the midpoint. And you rotate, rotate, rotate until it comes at a 90 degree angle. And you select. You want to erase the origin? No, because we want these lines here. So we are going to select no. Right? So in order to draw the parabola now to get in the curve, so these are the points. So these are the points. So where the first line um, intersect the the first horizontal line intersect the first vertical line, or the first diagonal line intersect the first vertical line, that's the first point. Where the second horizontal line or vertical line, where the so second vertical line meets the second diagonal line, that's the second point. Where the third vertical line meets the third horizontal line, that's the third point. Where the fourth Vertical line meets the or intersect the fourth horizontal line, vert, um, diagonal line. That's the fourth point. Where the fifth vertical line intersect the fifth diagonal line. That's the fifth point. And the sixth point will have end where the horizontal and the vertical meet in the corner here. So in order to draw our curve now, we need to set a layer so that's what i'm i was saying before you're going to you can set the layer before you start the join so you set uh, you create a layer by selecting selecting layer properties so you select layer properties and we want to call this layer curve one all right so curve number one all right and we want the color to be uh yellow preferably for me you can always make it or choose a color that you feel comfortable working with. So before you close out, you want to turn on this um, layer. So you double click here to get the layer um, turned on. So you see that now we have curve one here. All right. So in order to draw the curve now, we are going to use a command called spleen. So S spleen. Select your first point you want to spleen. Then you you don't need to select a line command so you select the first point you want to spleen and then you come here so where the first point intersect the first point is where the horizontal intersect the vert the the vertical the first vertical so you spleen there and you're seeing that this side is different from there Right, so we will copy this time around. So we come here where the second vertical intersect the second horizontal, that's our second point, and we spleen there. Where the third vertical intersect the third horizontal, that's our third point. Where the fourth vertical intersect our fourth line, that's the fourth point. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so we're on the correct path. So we're the fifth, um, where the fifth vertical intersect the fifth horizontal. That's our fifth point, and our last point, our sixth point, is in the corner. So you select there, then you go out, and you press enter. Right. So we see that there is a difference. Right. So when you use a line it's a bit different it's not as smooth as when you spleen so we can see the difference here and here 
right? So we can now delete this section, all of this section, and I'm going to show you the faster way. So the faster way is to copy here or mirror here. So you can select mirror and you select the object, which is this curve. You press enter and now we're going to zoom out. So we select the point where we want it to start from and we rotate it at uh, 90 degrees, right? So it should be fitting just like the previous curve, so like that. No. All right, so there we have it. So this is how we draw a parabola. So.